I would like to invite our next speaker on stage from the DLC HR committee, Mr. Raja Jamala Madaka, uh, neuroscience coach and MD Roche, TEDx and corporate speaker, entrepreneur and a mentor to startup founders, LinkedIn Top Voice 2018, Top 25 Thought Leaders from India. He's honored with the Marshall Goldsmith Award for Coaching Excellence for being a global top 100 coach and an alumni from Harvard Business School. Welcome, Raj. After hearing about the college dropouts and all that, this Harvard does, certainly doesn't make any sense to me at all. But, uh, you know, good to get this opportunity to talk to everyone. Jimmy, thanks for putting this uh, wonderful forum together. Um, what I'm going to talk to you about looks like a very um, esoteric topic, you know. It's about the field that I studied, um, I'm, uh, I have an expertise in. Uh, it's about neurosciences, which is the science of functioning of the brain. And we had a terrific speaker, Minoch, I think, spoke about happiness. And then Nikhil, uh, just before, spoke a little bit about how the brain plays a role in terms of stress and some of those kinds of things, actually. With all this knowledge, why do you need all these complications of neuroscience and, you know, these words, very complicated. So, um, I'll start with a small story that helps you explain uh, this particular point. I heard this in, in, in Pune itself and it applies everywhere. Two people, one uh, extremely educated man, came from a really top-notch uh, institution and a country bumpkin, uh, a very simpleton, both were going in a small uh, or a mid-sized boat in the ocean, okay? They started off. And then this highly educated man asked the simpleton, Hey, do you know biology? The other person says, No, sir, I don't know biology. The first person says, You have lost your life 25%. You are a human being. We are all animals. You don't know about biology, animals. You have lost your life 25%. The simpleton feels very bad. I am nearly 50 years old. 25% of my life has no value. After some time, they go a little bit more into the ocean and then uh, the first person, the super educated person, asks the other person, um, you know, do you know geography? You know, the, the science of the uh, earth and all of these kinds of things. And then the other person says, no, I do not know anything about geography. The first person says, you have lost your life 50%. You don't know biology, you don't know geography, useless. Sometime later, they go further into the ocean and then the first person asks the second person, you know, do you know chemistry? By this point, the third person, the second person is feeling useless. I don't know biology. I don't know chemistry. I don't know anything. The first person says, you have lost your life 75%. You don't know anything in the world. They are now at the center of the ocean. The ocean is very choppy. Everything is moving back and forth. Now it's the time of the simpleton. The simpleton asks the highly educated person, sir, do you know swimming? The first person says, no, no, I don't know swimming. The simpleton tells the educated person, you have lost your life 100%. It's choppy. You don't know how to swim. You're not going to survive. This simple story talks about how we all lead our lives, you know. We know all the high philosophy, all the big subjects, all the big strategies of the world. I head an organization myself. I talk about strategy all the time. And we do not know the simple thing of life which is about how we are as people. Ask this question to yourself. And you know, you mentioned this so succinctly and I like this talk so much. Why do you do what you do? Why do you act the way you act? Why do you react the way you do? And why do you display the emotions that you display on an ongoing basis? We know intuitively, but we don't put in a lot of time. And then this slide put here explains that very, very succinctly and you can understand what neuroscience is all about. You don't need to need too many things. If ever starting from the time you were born until now and from the time now until the time you are on earth, if you ever use the word, I am afraid, in your brain language, your brain doesn't understand these words at all. In simple language, there is some chemical which is low, some chemical which is high, some chemical which is low. In brain language, this is called as fear. If you say I'm surprised, if you say I'm delighted, if you say I'm excited, this is all. Think about it, the most complex creation of God, somebody mentioned about the earth being there for 4.5 billion years. After 4.5 billion years, all the intelligence, everything that you can do in your life can be summarized in these three chemicals. One high, one low. Something high at some point, I'm excited. 
something lower, another point I'm disturbed. Something happens and then we keep on thinking all this is because of the outside. Somebody said something, I'm disturbed. Somebody didn't work the way I expected, I'm unhappy. My strategy did not succeed, I'm disturbed. As surprising as this might sound, everything is on the inside, nothing is on the outside. What you see on the outside is just a reflection of the inside. And like, you know, Jimmy mentioned so well to lead a life of significance is not, your financial is not money. Exactly, your brain doesn't run on money at all. And this is an actual fact. And I can actually show one of those to you. I don't have a lot of time to talk about neuroscience, but I'll talk about one example. And right here, right here, I will produce one chemical in your brain. You don't need to know the name of the chemical. You don't care to hoots about what it is. But I will show it to you. It all depends on whether you cooperate with me or no, okay? You will have to cooperate in the exercise if that is to happen and I'll show it to you. Any one volunteer on stage? Anyone wants to come here? Hello. What's your name? Shankar. Shankar, come. And because Shankar volunteered, Shankar will not do anything. You will do something. Because he's a smart guy, he did not volunteer. Okay, Shankar. Now, I'm going to tell them to do something and based on your reaction, we'll see how they react. Okay? Okay. Now, Exercise for all of you. Listen to what I'm saying carefully, okay? You have to give Shankar, hear, hear what I'm saying. You have to give Shankar your loudest, most excited welcome you have ever given to anyone, okay? He should feel that he's Amitabh Bachchan after your welcome. So you can stand up, you can shout, you can punch your arms in the air, you can do anything. I'll give you 30 seconds. If he does not feel excited, the session will continue, so you better do it quickly, okay? Ready, start, loud, quick, loud, loud. Are you happy? He's not happy. Loud, loud, he won. Louder, 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 okay? Thank you. Okay, good. Thank you, sir. Now I'm going to ask you a question, each one of you. Hang on, listen to me, listen to me. For those that participated in the exercise with all their energy and those that really clapped, those that really passed their arms in the air and those that shouted, for those that participated, how are you feeling right now? Is the energy level a little higher than it was when you started off? Yes or no? Okay. Are you feeling little more blood flowing in the system? Yes or no? Are you suddenly feeling that from the time the session started till now, the average noise level and the energy was the highest. Yes or no? How is that possible? Shankar was unknown to you. He didn't pay you money to cheer. You have cheered someone you didn't care about. You did it free of cost. And still you felt good about it. Because, because a chemical which is on the left hand side, you don't need to know the name. Some people say, ha, you know, how do I create this chemical? Shall I break my head? You can't break your, if you break that, why do you need chemicals? It's over, life is over itself. You know, you have to create these and these chemicals cannot, like in the laboratory, you put those pipettes, they cannot be created. They depend on what you do on the outside. If we were to do a brain scan of all of you right now, the chemical flowing high is called serotonin. This is the chemical of mood. This is the chemical of energy. And using Menocha's statement, this is the chemical that creates that feeling of happiness and fulfillment. You cannot create this chemical by beating the head. You cannot create this chemical with money. You can create amongst other things by doing something for someone without expecting anything in return. What did you do for Shankar? Clapped. Expected nothing in return. Did it because you were asked to. You made him feel good like Bachchan. You started feeling good. Did you understand what I'm saying? This is brain science. This is neuroscience, guys. And then initially I started studying this out of academic interest. I also studied on this academically and soon realized a lot of things in life can be done if you do subtle, very, very important things. And that's when I understood the importance of this, this science. I don't have time to go through all of these. Usually when I do these sessions here, a little bit more in the US than this particular geography, when I speak, you will be surprised by the time I, I'm done after a four, five, six hour session, I am able to produce chemical by chemical in the brains of people. And they themselves never realized. People who never stood up from their desk. People who generally went to sessions wondering, Are, kya bolta hai me? shouting, participating, getting excited and all of these things. Because there is a way 
you do these kinds of things and all of these and i, I don't have enough time to talk just few minutes more are free you cannot buy serotonin in the world you can buy it and drink it you will die actually it can only be produced here you cannot buy dopamine in the world it's free you cannot buy the third one i don't want to pronounce it and hang on hang on hang on they exist in the brain for 90 seconds max from the time you punch your hands 90 seconds are over the chemical is gone it sustains if you keep doing it in a systematic manner practice makes a man perfect actually and i won't talk about how it is done and all those things exactly like this positive energy works you can also create negative energy and then i think menocho talked about it and the uh, adil who spoke about anti fragile spoke about some terrific points same situation same situation i can go as deep since i academically trained very very deep you don't need any academics you can be a college dropout you can still lead a life of significance i did not put the last drop of significance but achieving a life of significance and a lady that asked a question what about college dropouts you can be anyone in the world you need to produce the right kind of chemicals by doing the right kind of things all free no car in the world can produce chemicals as much as simple acts and all that this is the significance of neuroscience i'm going to end again by telling one more quick story you've heard this a lot of times also from our vedas and uh, i think uh, minocha talked about yoga so let me talk about something from there i wasn't going to talk about this one one time an individual went with a to a, to a smart man and then said uh, he was holding a bird in his hands and then you know flippant characters want to all complicated things he said let me prove this guy wrong you know i want to prove this guy wrong he took a bird in his hands and then told uh swami ji is this bird alive or dead so that if the guy says alive he'll kill the bird if the swami ji says dead he'll keep the bird alive and the swami is proved wrong the swami looked at that individual and said my friend the answer to this question is in your own hands actually the answer to leading a life of significance is in your hands the answer to doing something constructive is in your hands the answer to staying happy is in your hands the answer to staying excited is in your hands the answer to doing something that the other people and you feel good is in your hands the answer to generating chemicals is in your hands go ahead use these things in a way that benefits you and the rest of the world thank you very much